All right, lads. So it's finally time to talk about Spirits of Forever with you. The first round of round one is going to be getting announced in around four or so days time on the 28th. In anticipation of that, let's talk about all the characters coming as part of this collaboration. This is mainly to build up some hype for these characters because a lot of you out there, myself included to a certain extent, really don't know much about these characters. And that's honestly perfectly fine. The novels haven't been officially translated into English. Yes, you can read them online, but personally for me, I prefer to to read them when they do get officially translated like with what they've been doing with Can't Feel and Waltz. So this video is going to serve as a demonstration of what the characters do, what abilities that they have, what they might look like when it comes to their game. I'm not really going to be speculation what skills, strong attacks they're going to have. That's not the point of this video. I mainly here to describe some of this stuff to get you lads excited for these characters when they do eventually arrive into the game. Now do keep in mind that this may contain some kind of spoilers on the abilities and stuff these characters have. So if you don't want to know that, probably don't watch this video, but I'm not going to be really spoiling any kind of plot points that do happen in the Spirits of Ever With You storyline, so do keep that in mind. That being said, let's jump straight into it, starting off with the Beyond Bankai characters. So the characters confirmed to be getting a new design, which we, again, we have no idea what that's going to look like, is going to be Yamamoto, Shinsui, Jushiro, Kisuke, Gin, Mayuri, and Shinji. Now, the term for these characters is Beyond Bankai, but do keep in mind that is just a fan term. The reason why we call them this, even though there's no official naming for it just yet, is because of what we saw with the Beyond Resurrection characters for the Espadas. As part of the Calm for the Odd collaboration, we had new forms of Espadas, and in the trailer, they did call it Beyond resurrection or going beyond resurrection so the similar kind of naming has been brought onto the soul reapers so the official term isn't beyond bankai but for the most part the community has been calling them beyond bankai so do just keep that in mind what they're gonna like we don't know we might find out again in four days but i just wanted to clear that up these are the characters to be confirmed getting new forms there have been some speculation on maybe other characters like uh toshiro soifo and other captains that aren't here maybe they can get new forms but as of now there's no confirmation. The only thing we can take on is that these seven characters are going to be getting new forms for this collaboration. And do keep in mind, they are not part of the actual story. They're more so just originals in the two Bleach Bracers. Don Kanoji. So Don Kanoji is someone that we all are familiar with. He isn't a new character whatsoever. So there isn't really much to talk about him, but do understand that he is the main character of this storyline and he is tasked with the position of protecting Roka, who we're about to talk about now. Roka Paramecia. So this might not be the first time you actually are seeing Roka. In case you have forgotten, she was actually in the original manga and anime, but she only had really one scene. She had the task to heal uh, Yami's arm and in doing so, in gratitude of that, Yami then kills Roka. But apparently she's not dead and now she has a role in Spirits of Air with you. And that role does seem to be a bit significant because for some reason, everyone wants to go after her. And that's why Don Kanoji is protecting her. So in terms of what she can actually do, she does have a Zanpakuto. And funny enough, it's actually her mask. That mask you do see in her face actually is her Zanpakuto. And because of that, she does have access to a resurrection. So we might be seeing two different kinds of Roka. The one you're seeing on the screen is basically the base form design of Roka, but she does have access to a released form, which I'm assuming is the one we're going to get. Hopefully, it's not just in the special. If anything, I'd like it to be a transformed character, but I do believe that the character of Roka that we do get into the game is going to be in her uh, resurrected form, which I think looks pretty nice, especially in the design that we do have right here from the actual novel. Now, her resurrection is fairly interesting because it does have a special ability. Now, it really depends on what Kale I want to do with this. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do it, but essentially what Roka can do is copy any attack that she has gathered data on, and that does include Mugetsu. So it doesn't make much sense, <laughs> but she can do Mugetsu. Is she going to do it in the actual special move of the character? I'm not too sure. We're going to have to wait and see, but she does have access to a pretty good selection of attacks, more specifically the ones that we are familiar with. Ichigo's Mugetsu, Neliel's Double Sero, Zamari's Sonido, and Lupi's Hero Virgin. So hopefully I didn't pronounce those names wrong, but that's essentially what she can do. So... She's a character that, you know, at first glance, you know, you might have already seen her, you might have remembered her from the actual anime, but what they've actually done with her in this novel is fairly interesting, and I can't wait to see how this character is going to play, considering the fact that she can't actually copy other people's moves. Are we going to have a similar situation with Tokinata, where some of the attacks that she does use in-game is going to be somewhat similar to what we've already seen before from other characters? Either way, I'm excited to see how this character is going to play out when she comes to Bleach Bracelet. 
Azashiro Kenpachi. So when it comes to Azashiro, the 8th Kenpachi, by the way, that title alone already brings some excitement to him. Uh, regardless of knowing what he can do, just seeing a new Kenpachi come to the game is already exciting as is. So when it comes to the abilities and the powers this character has, it's actually quite insane. But at the same time, it isn't anything too flashy compared to someone like Tokinada. So essentially, what this character can do is, in his Bankai form, because he doesn't really have too much known about his Shikai, most of the time when he is fighting, it is in his Bankai form, which is is the Urozakuro. We'll talk about her in a bit. So essentially, when he uses Bankai, he can fuse with all his surroundings and control it. Essentially, this can be like a recon ability, right? Where he can hear, he can feel, and he can see anything in Soul Society when he does use his Bankai, and that does have some significance to what he actually does do in the plot, in the story of Spirits Off and With You. When it comes to him actually using this ability in combat, this is where it gets interesting because, again, being able to know feel and see anyone in Soul Society, it allows him to basically know your exact location and at the same time he can also teleport directly to you because he has now been fused with the world. In addition to that, because he's been fused with the world, you now can't even attack this character because you can't even see him. At the same time, he can also summon a bunch of different spears throughout the air. Essentially, if he does his Bankai ability, you are trapped in your own world. You can't really do anything because he has now complete control over the surrounding. He knows where you are. He knows exactly where to attack and you can't even see this person. So it's a very insane ability and it doesn't even end there because he can also create duplicates of his mouth and hands, allowing him to do multiple Kido attacks, more specifically Kurohisugi, without even thinking about it. He can sh shoot off a bunch of them very, very easily, very, very quickly. So so if he was, say, going against the entire Soul Society, he would be able to do a lot of nasty damage and it would be hard for them to even attack him. So this is a pretty cool Bankai ability where it doesn't sound OP, but it it really is. It's honestly very, very overpowered to a certain extent. And the last ability to talk about is the fact that he can actually fuse. He can fuse his own body, like into the world, but he can fuse it into a person, killing them from the inside. And once he's in you, then it's not going to be pretty once he gets out. But that's pretty much all I was able to gather when it comes to the powers that this character does have. When it comes to him being in Bleach Brave Souls, it's going to be very interesting to say the least on what he's actually going to be able to perform and to show when it comes to his Soul Bomb and also his strong attacks. And I'm just really hoping Caleb don't make him a mad character because that would be doing this character injustice unless he does have Guard Break. But even then, I'd rather him be an SP character. Uro Zakuro. So Uro Zakuro is a fairly interesting choice of us actually getting a character in this game. And the main reason I say this is because she really didn't do much from my understanding in the actual novel. She is essentially the Zanpakuto spirit for Azashiro's Bankai or Zanpakuto in general, right? Azashiro Zanpakuto is Uro Zakuro and we're actually getting her as a Zanpakuto spirit into the game from my understanding as her own character, which is fairly interesting. I really do like that Caleb are doing this mainly because I really, really like the design of this character so i'm very happy to see her getting a character in game where you can actually play as her and not so much as play as a shiro where you might just see orizakuro appear and maybe a strong attack or two but either way because she is a zanpakuto i'm assuming when it comes to her being in bbs it's going to be very similar to what as shiro can do because she is the zanpakuto spirit it makes sense uh but in terms of her actually doing stuff in the novel i don't believe she actually did very much so essentially what you can come to expect when it comes to this character is to showcase some of the similar abilities that Azashiro is going to be using in his character. So essentially we're getting kind of two characters right here that are going to be very similar to each other. So either way it's exciting and if you do like characters that are very sadistic and you know big chested then you know I, I already know you're gonna simp for it because I'm gonna simp for it when she comes to the game. CN Grunts. So this is a bit tricky and hopefully I can describe it to the best of my abilities right. So essentially this character right here CN Grunt isn't actually Zapro but at the same time kind of is. CN Grunt is a copy a clone to say the least of Zapro before he split up with his brother. Previously, some years ago, I'm not sure how long ago it was, Zyalopro and also his brother Ilfort were actually one being somewhat similar to the situation with Stark and also Lilinette. Somewhere down the line, they split up. Now, this character, CN Grant, is a clone before they split up. So, essentially, the best way to describe this character is a more overpowered Zyalopro. 
that's the best way to describe it. A lot of the abilities that this character does use is very similar to what Zalap has shown in the past, but even stronger. For example, a normal Cero fired from this CN Grant was actually considered to be a Grand Ray Cero when it was actually just a very overpowered Cero. One of the cool things and unique things about this character, however, is his resurrection form, which does appear to be some kind of butterfly form, which is actually very similar to the current Carnfield Zabra that we do have. So kind of funny little like coincidence, but this is what we're going to be seeing definitely in the character special. I think what this character is going to start out in is his base form, and then when he uses his soul bomb, he's going to transform into his resurrection form. Whether he stays in that form when it comes to actually being playable is down to Caleb, but you can definitely bet on his soul bomb being his resurrection form, which again looks very cool and very different to what we've seen Zappa do in the past. The Picaro. So the Picaro are essentially 200 different child Arankas. That's the best way to describe what they are. The picture of what has been going around uh, looks very misleading because there's actually a lot of them. So when you actually see this character in game, what probably is going to happen is that it's going to be we're going to be controlling the main character with the headphones. Maybe we'll see a few run around with him, but I can definitely confirm, uh, even before the character comes down to the game, the one with the headphones, who is somewhat the leader of this group, is going to be the one that we are going to be controlling. And then every time you use a strong attack, a bunch of mini kid Arankas are going to start doing some mad attacks. That's the best way to see how this character can be played when it comes to Bleach Brace Souls. In terms of what they actually can do, they actually don't do that much, but do understand that they were actually powerful enough to be considered an Espada. So do keep that in mind. They're not some weak little kids that are running around Hueco Mundo just having fun, they actually can be quite deadly, especially because there are 200 of them. That's where most of their damage comes from. They aren't someone that are individually strong, but together, they combine the strength of an Espada, so do keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to what they actually can do, there isn't really much. Essentially, they can fire bullets from their hands or some kind of spiritual pressure bullets from their fist. They can also generate black holes, which is... I mean, in terms of Bleach Verse, that's actually somewhat powerful too. And then they do actually have a Zampak Toll, which they can resurrect. So they do have a resurrection form where they all just grow wings. So they can now fly around the entire map. So again, this is somewhere similar where we're definitely going to see this play out in their special. Whether they stay in their resurrection form comes down to Caleb. I'm really hoping they do because as always, transforming characters is better than characters that aren't transforming. If you can give us a new form, because we're not going to get two versions of these characters, if you can give us a transform for mechanic that would be great it'd be the best of both worlds so hopefully Kela do go down that route Kenpachi Kuryashiki now, Kuryashiki wasn't a character that I was very much excited for when I didn't know anything about him. But knowing what he can do, this character is going to be quite insane. Just to give you a brief understanding of, of how OP this character can be, because he actually does have a forbidden Bankai. He is not allowed to use his Bankai because of how deadly it can be to everyone around him. Now, when it comes to his Shikai, it's a living type Zanpakuto. So it's best described to be somewhat similar to Retsu Shikai, where she can summon Minazuki. Well, Kurashiki can do something similar to that where he summons a large white sphere with enormous fangs. It doesn't have legs, it doesn't have eyes, it doesn't have a nose, it doesn't have anything. It's just a sphere with a large mouth with very large fangs. And this can basically attack anyone that Kurashiki deems as an enemy. So that's essentially what his Shikai actually is. It's just a large white sphere, no eyes, no legs. No, nothing, just the mouth with jaws. Now, his Bankai ability is actually very similar to that, but it's even more powerful. Essentially, when he activates his Bankai, it summons a massive pair of jaws from the ground eating anyone but himself in that radius. And that is actually why Central 46 forbade him from using his Bankai ever in this area because unlike his Shikai, his Bankai attacks anyone regardless of friend or foe. So once he activates that Bankai, if a friend is in a certain radius, it's also going to get eaten up by those pair of jaws. So it's a very OP Bankai, but it does come with a few drawbacks. Of course, as we mentioned, he's not allowed to use it in this area but at the same time, if he ever does use his Bankai ability, he can't use any Zanpakuto ability whatsoever for the next six months. So he can only use this Bankai two times a year. So it's pretty much a all-out attack. It's a one and done. If he fails to kill the enemy with that Bankai ability, then he's pretty much SOS, relying on his raw strength and abilities. 
And the last two characters, Uryu and Kenpachi, there isn't really much to talk about, especially with Uryu. Kenpachi is there, he does play a prominent role, especially going against the antagonist of this arc as a Shiro. But in terms of abilities and powers that he does use in this novel, I'm not really too certain on, so I can't really tell you much about him. But I'm sure he's going to look cool when he does come into the game. Hopefully he's a lot better than the current for your old Kenpachi. And also do keep in mind is that the design of this Kenpachi is pre-time skip. So this arc does take place between the defeat of Aizen and before the Forbring arc, which is why Kenpachi isn't in his TLA design, and Uryu, he is also there, not really sure what he's going to do, not really sure what he's going to show, but we're getting a new Uryu, so for you Uryu fans out there, hey, you're getting treated again once more. That being said, let's hope you guys did enjoy the video, if I was able to build up some excitement uh, for some of these characters, do let me know in the comments below, let me know who you are most excited for, for this batch, are you excited for the Beyond Bankai slash original designs of the Soripers, or are you more excited for some of these original characters, like as the serial comment to the game. Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Coming up soon!